Hello and welcome back. Um, so in this episode I'm talking about UV unwrapping in Blender. And th this is kind of an art form in itself and I, honestly I'm not that great at it yet. So I'll probably remake this video in the future but I think I do have a lot of good information to share with you. So first what is UV mapping? Well if you go into UV editing you can see two windows and right here we have a cube and there's no UV layout yet. So I'm going to hit U and unwrap. Whoops. All right, so that, that took each face and it um, essentially cut along each edge and flattened it out. So if I put an image here and then go into texture mode, you can see the, the entire texture is being mapped to every face. Um, so so that, that works, um, but keep in mind if you do that now, if drawing on one, like drawing on the texture is going to be applied to every single face. So if we don't want every face to, to show the exact same texture, we can go to Smart UV Project. Usually when I do this, I, I set the island margin to about 0.05. And now you can see that um, the island margin essentially separates, separates each of these islands. Um, and now each face has, has a different piece of the texture. Um, but you'll notice when you do this now, each, each piece has much lower resolution. And so there's, you need to find a balance where you can have the, the most texture space um, assigned to whatever part of the texture is going to be the most important. Um, so now if I hit U again, um, I don't know how these two work. I've never used those. Cube projection, um, that seems like a perfect option for this cube. Uh, but it doesn't really work too well because it creates overlapping texture space. Um, so I almost never use that one. Cylinder projection, essentially that's going to make a cylinder around the box and then um, create UV islands based on how they would fit into a cylinder. And so again that's that's not going to work with a cube because um, there's a lot of stretching going on now. So if I go over to this next object and hit tab uh, now I'm going to hit U and do a cylinder projection. And you'd think that that would work perfectly because this is actually a cylinder, but for some reason it just doesn't like to work. So I almost never do cube projection, cylinder projection, or a sphere projection. Um, tab into edit mode, sphere projection, and see that, that doesn't look very nice either. And I'll, I have no idea why these don't work very well. Uh, you'd think that they would, but I just I haven't had much much luck with them. So let's say we want to unwrap this. Uh, we could try like a box projection, or we could just try unwrapping it. If we unwrap it, now you can see we have the texture applied to every single of the every single one of these faces. That's not what we want. Um, and while we're at it, uh, I don't like the way the the camera is rotating. So I'm going to go to File, User Preferences, Interface, and Rotate Around Selection. Right, so now it's just going to, to circle around that. Um, so that should make this easier. So how do I want to do this? Well, let's try a smart UV project. Well, that worked all right. It's it separated everything. Um, it, it now all of these faces are still fairly rectangular. Um, so there's not too much stretching going on, but I don't like how they're all separated. So instead, I'm just going to go. I'm going to hit Control Tab. Make sure that I'm in Edge Mode. And then I'm going to hit Alt and right click. And now you can see that selected this orange ring. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Shift, Alt, right click. So now I have both of those selected. And I'm going to hit Control E and mark seam. Now we have these two orange lines. And now I can hit A to select everything. U and then unwrap. And now I have two nice um, separated pieces. And so that's usually the way I try to unwrap things. Um, just go go around it, mark where the edges are, and then just hit U to unwrap. And th that seems to work pretty well. Now I'm just going to take one vertice here, one vertex, hit L to select all of it, G to move, and S to scale. Same thing here, L, S, scale, S to scale down, G to move. All right, so. Um, this would be much easier to paint on, and uh, yeah, that's that's just a much 
th there's a lot less stretching going on. It's just a much better way to do it. Um, now we have a much more complicated model. And we'll, we're just going to do the same thing. Control tab, make sure you're in edge mode. Alt right click to get the ring. Control E to mark seam. Oh, and before I do that, um, right now there's no seams marked. And so if I hit U, or A to select everything, U to unwrap. And now if I unwrap that, I get this. And now this is not what we want because the whole face right here is really compressed. There's almost no texture space for the eyes and the nose and everything. Um, the face is going to be the most important part of the model, so we want to give as much um, detail to that as we can. So we're going to stretch it out in the UV space. Um, and again, this is this is just not something you would want to draw on. It's just really, really inconvenient. So we could also try a smart UV project. Let's see if that works. And that separated them, and that like now we, we have more control over scaling and moving things around. Uh, but they're all separated. And so that makes it hard to work with. So what I'm going to do is just Alt right click on this edge here, Control E to mark seam, A to select everything, and then U and unwrap. And now what that did is it gave us one primary object for the head, an object for the face, and I think these are for the eyes. Yeah, an object for the eye. So now what I can do is move the eyes onto this piece here, like that. I'm going to scale down the head and position it out here. And then I'm going to take the face and scale that up so that we have as much um, texture space for that as possible. And I'm hitting G, G to move, left click to lock in, S to scale, and R to rotate. And so, so that gives us um, a lot more control over how we want to draw on this. And now if you were drawing on this in like Paint or something, or Photoshop, um, you, you would probably want this completely vertical, like that. All right, so now the last object is a drone over here. So I'm going to hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, and by default, it's got this weird UV layout, which is really just kind of terrible. So I'm going to hit U, Unwrap, and it does the same thing. U, Reset, U, Unwrap. And again, that's still, that's not what we want. That just, it looks bad, you can't tell what anything is. Uh, so we need to find a better solution. Um, we could Alt and right click to get the whole ring if we wanted to, and then mark a seam. And then when I unwrap that, um, it's a little bit better, but that's still not great. So what can we do? Well, with a model this complicated, um, sometimes it's just best to trust Blender with it. Uh, so I hit U and then Smart UV Project, and we'll see how that looks. And surprisingly, this actually turned out pretty well. Um, we've got like the main mass. This main top part is here. Um, the bottom part is here. Like you, you can tell where everything is now, at least. Um, and then if we wanted to, we could hit Control, or we could we could right click on these and hit L just like the whole thing, and then move these around. And eventually, um, if you cleared out enough space, you could take this piece and scale it up and give that as much texture space as possible. Um, so if, if I was doing this for like a professional project, I would probably take this, like the, this is the top part here, right? And, and the way we can tell that is control tab to go into face mode, see, and then if we start painting on this, um, you can tell that this whole top part is down in this corner. And so we would probably want that to have as much texture space as possible, and then you could go around and move each of these other pieces out of the way, um, or you could just work with with what the Smart UV project gave us. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, again, if we wanted to do this manually, we could like hold Alt, get a ring, uh, mark seam, maybe do one down the middle, control E, mark seam, and then try unwrapping again. And that worked out all right. 
Um, I'm not sure what's going on in this corner up here. Uh, but it seems like Smart UV Project works pretty well for this model. Um, so, I, oh, and and now it, it got broken because I, I marked the seam. Uh, but this actually might be easier to work with. Um, I don't like how this is kind of deceptive. The The whole top part here ended up being like these parts here. And then this is part of the bottom and this is part of the bottom. Um, but yeah, the, the reason that happened is because I marked the seams and, the, and then did, did the unwrap. Uh, but it seems like it worked out better without even marking any seams. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and I'll see you next time.